they wanted to incorporate uh, uh, elements of Southeast Ohio into the building. Mm -hmm. So when you first come to the building, this would represent a covered bridge. Uh, at least in some form, it's supposed to remind people of a covered bridge. And then with the stairwell up there, which is one of the tallest parts, that would be a coal mine tip. And when you go around to the other side of the building, some people would say that looks a lot like a barn that way. Different architectural style, but again, ele different elements reminding people of different things mm -hmm. in Southeast Ohio. And if you were to walk around, like the train station in Nelsonville, this is supposed to represent that. And I know there are pictures of the old Athens train station, yeah. <laughs> and you can definitely see the, the similarity if you were on the other yep. side. This would be the Osborne Firefinder, mm -hmm. and this is how they would have triangulated fires. And they used this um, during which time period? This would have been from the late, about 39, when the fire towers were uh, built mm -hmm. until, I want to say, the 70s, about the mid-70s. These are other odds and ends, mm -hmm. the first aid manual, a fire manual. There's some uh, forester instruments in here as well as uh, some engineering. Got it. These were all... Uh, left over from previous employees. This is also one of our exhibits, uh, a history of firefighting as well. These, this is a typical fire cache, which would have been out on the forest, and the tools would have been left in the fire cache. So, and there would just be red cabins, just like this? Just like cool. this. And that way, if there was fire out in that area, the tools would already be positioned out there and easy for them to get to. One of our... Uh, well, a lot of our employees got together and actually quilted a quilt. You can see it right up there from 1934 to 2005, some of the Wayne National Forest history. Notice the CCC, the Athens Marietta, Ironton units up there, the Capitol Christmas tree in 1987 we actually provided, which is really cool from the Marietta unit and some of the other features uh, depicted of the forest there. Anything from a cardinal to, you know, bear prints to oak leaves. Some of the forest patches, some mm -hmm. of the history there. And, of course, uh, we talk about local history, like we've been talking about. If you notice the panels uh, around the room here, uh, you can see the land of Ohio's hill country there, the first Ohioans, early European settlement, the Underground Railroad mentioned here. Uh, industry comes to southeastern Ohio. Uh, a lot of history there. And, of course, when Wayne National Forest came along, you had the reforestation uh, efforts. And, then of course, there we are managing the forest for fire, mm -hmm. reclamation work, uh, watershed restoration, and, of course, the return of wildlife. When you have reforestation, that's what you get. Right.